Rummage through a do-it-yourselfer's toolbox, and chances are you'll come across a putty knife or two. They come in several widths, so whether you're scraping off paint, old wallpaper, or installing drywall, there's a putty knife that's the right size and shape for the job. These putty knife blades are made of steel that's flexible and durable, due in part to its high carbon content. Production begins with workers feeding steel sheets into a press, one by one. The press's cutting die punches out a blade for the type of putty knife they're producing. The next press punches three rivet holes in the handle portion of the blade. These are for attaching a hard plastic handle. For models that will have a handle made of a softer rubber-like plastic, they fishbone the handle portion of the blade so that it'll grip the plastic. Steel has to be heat treated to gain its full flexibility and strength. First, they submerge the blades in a bath of molten salt. The heat is intense, 1400 degrees Fahrenheit. The blades soak for about a minute, the time it takes for the metal temperature to rise to that of the tank. As it does, the steel's molecular structure begins to change. From here, they transfer the blades to two successively cooler salt baths. That quenching, as it's called, further hardens the steel. The blades are then tempered in an oven for eight hours at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. This gives the steel memory, meaning the blade will revert to its original shape when bent. After heat treatment, lukewarm water jets rinse off the salt residue and cool the metal to room temperature. Now that the metal has the required properties, the blades need the right profile. A worker lays them on a magnetic plate that angles them downward. The plate spins, running the blades against the grinding wheel. It takes about 30 seconds of grinding to profile each blade and form the flex point. The thinnest and most flexible part that's one and a half inches from the end of the blade. Blade profiles vary because some jobs require a more flexible tool than others. Now they clean the blades in a revolving drum filled with absorbent sand. This removes oil and other residues left by the production process and it preps the surface for the protective layer of lacquer that's applied next. After coating the blades in lacquer, they dry them in an oven. This seals the metal, preventing rust. Assembly is completely automated. The first machine slips on the plastic handle. The next machine rivets it on. The following machine slaps on a label which identifies the size and type of putty knife. Professional quality putty knives have a thicker, stiffer blade. The handle is made up of two halves. The machine positions them onto the handle portion of the blade, then attaches them with a hollow rivet. This enables the knife to be hung up. This factory also produces retractable utility knives. It puts the cast aluminum handles through a machine that uses polishing stones to remove any shards of metal. Workers assemble the utility knives manually, first installing the push button that moves the blade in and out. After putting in a spare blade, they close up the handle with one screw. This factory produces 150 different paint preparation tools for a wide range of uses, from scraping to filling to smoothing out tape on wall joints.